you too. Man, I got a good one for y'all today. We cooking up a little 4PF type of beat, man. Something for like mm. little Baby, mm. Ludo 5, mm. little Bert, you know what I'm saying? Voice of the Heroes, all that, man. So yeah, we are gonna get into this cook up, but hey, I got a couple of announcements for y'all real quick. First of all, in the video, I got the same shirt on as the last video because I did them all the same day. Don't judge me, I do bathe. Second of all, I should have that loop kit done for y'all boys by the end of this week. So on Friday's video, I should have a link in the description with the loot kit for y'all ready to go. I appreciate all the support, man. Once I get that done, drum kit coming next, man. So, yeah. But without further ado, man, y'all know the rules. The beat gets your head bobbing. You got to drop me a like. Drop me a subscribe if you really rocking with me. But, yeah, let's get into this cook up. So we yeah, ain't fell with it, man. Let's see. I feel like doing something. I'm going 165 for this one. Let's see what we start with here. Um, the tracks might be cool. The tracks might be cool. So what I did there, man, I started out with a simple A minor chord. Boom. Took this A minor chord, pulled it up. I mean, took the middle note there, pulled it up an octave. And then I just kind of went by ear from there. Um, and then once I got this kind of sound going, I just said, okay, I'm just going to play off of that melody right there. That doom, 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 doom. So what I could really do is stretch this out. Probably stretch this all the way out. Get some keyscape in there. Uh, probably like cinematic, and I'm gonna just take the same melody, turn this down a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
It's <laughs> crazy. expand with it we are going to find a pizzicato preset spiccato up and down okay let's try this Alright, so all we did with this was um, we kind of just kind of followed the melody from the piano and the other sound. Um, just kind of bouncing off of the root note, which is the A. So I'm kind of just going off the half steps into the root note. This D, we used the D earlier in the melody. So like what I do a lot of times is if I use a note earlier in the melody, I'm going to keep using that same note with different sounds because like it's already been used. <laughs> like, I don't know no other way to explain that. Like if the note has already been used. It sounds good in the other melodies. Then what the hell you already know you can use it again. Like the note has been used, bro. So that's what I did there. Uh, I might mess around with some more though. Cause it might be a little bit too much going on. Maybe we can do, like, take out some of it. Oh yeah, let's do it like that. Yeah, let's do it like that. So let's just drop these. And we'll go like... Dun, 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 dun. that okay i like that so we can do it like that take out this we're going to duplicate this by highlighting everything control b then we're going to control up on the arrow key to pitch it up boom perfect and i think that's good let's see
so I think this melody sounds pretty good. I don't want to do too much with it because you like, you know, you got to keep beats simple at the end of the day, even though they can sound like, you know what I'm saying, good and complex, but it's really about what you do more is less sometimes. So I think I'm going to add a sub bass on here and then um, maybe like a vocal. If I could find a good like vocal, like a choir or something from Splice, I think that would be hard. Um, so yeah, we're in expand here. We got the grave bass out of the synth based preset presets um so yeah let's lay that down we're just gonna follow the root note really so let's see here previous video I told y'all if you got uh, E the note E like we got here this E you got an E put a B that's usually gonna sound good so I'll let, let y'all hear that one time Perfect, perfect, man. I don't know what that is, that B to that E. I'm sure it has something to do with, like, maybe that's, like, a fifth of the note or something. I don't know, no music theory, but it be sounding good, man. It works perfectly here because we're going from that B to the E, and then we got that F, which is just one note right above it. So it kind of goes into it real nice because those notes are close together and they're in the same scale. It just sounds good, man. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can find me a vocal on Splice and um, we'll see what that sounds like, man. All right, so I couldn't find no uh, choir and Splice. The shits were sounding terrible. So we about to just mix this thing. We gonna throw some drums on it. That means it's good in my opinion. So yeah, man. So we gonna start with a little EQ on this hoe. Nothing too crazy here. See, so look, we don't need all this low end that's in here. We can just call that out. It's not doing nothing for us. Call a little bit of highs. I'm gonna give it a little bounce. vintage verb <clears throat> cut uh cut out some of the low end of that reverb because you don't need it turn down the decay a little bit turn on the mix and honestly keyscape has a lot of reverb on the piano as well already so we're gonna turn that down some too. like my hall of vintage verb do a lot of work there
So what I'm doing with this stereo shaper, this fruity stereo shaper, is I'm just kind of spreading out the sound song with this delay knob. Oh, that pad. I think that sounds pretty good. I like to always put my bass in mono. Boost that bass up a little bit. I think we sounded good, man. All right, let's get these drums down.
God damn, boy, my ears. So we're gonna do Alt U, Alt U to chop this up. And if you play with this time multiplier, you can like adjust how much of a chop it is. We're gonna probably do it like that. And then we're gonna roll it into that note. So it should sound kind of decent. <laughs> So that uh it's my song. completely forgot my homeboy called me while i was recording and i never even finished the video so we about to finish the rest of the video so yeah man i'm about to just uh mix these drums real quick and uh we gonna arrange it man and that's that's what we got
get this running back like that. Like that. That's hard. Maybe I should start the beat like that. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe I should do like, like this. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. today like i said man i got the loop kit coming probably this friday y'all be on the lookout for that man i can't wait to drop that for y'all boys but hey i appreciate y'all watching through the video if you made it this far you a real one man let me know in the comments bro just let me know learn something in the video if your head got the bomb and drop me a like drop me a subscribe man and we'll be back with another one peace